this time round we take this filthy mouldy little mini and transform it into this little beauty stick around find out the process and how to clean a convertible roof as well but to start we need the dirty car um, mother-in-law's mini she's had it three coming up four years now um, every now and again I'll do this car give it a real deep clean and considering that the A-class detail went down so well I thought I'd never do another deep clean detail on this mini the benefit of this one is I'm going to show you how to clean that mouldy fabric roof so stick around for that because that's worth watching First up, wheel cleaning. Get your dirty areas done first, we know that. Of course, the alloy, the tyre and the carpeted wheel well were given a thorough rinse down with a Kranzel K10 pressure washer. Then, once the loose dirt had been removed, I used Ultimate Finish Wheel Cleaner, diluted down at 10 to 1. It's a bit of a mad dilution ratio for a wheel cleaner. Then, let that sort of start to soak in attack the tires with some surfex hd love that product link down in the description for that one then again let surfex hd start working on the tires removing sort of the build up of oils and silicons and then sort of headed back to the wheels and started going in on them first up i always start my wheel nuts get all them little intricate areas done first i kind of that sets me going on the wheels then I tackle the back barrel of the wheel. Now this time round I'm using some wheel woolies. These don't fit every wheel so you can use something like this or an easy detail brush. Um, Microfiber Madness do their version of a wheel woolly. For me it was a bit big and bulky. I'll either stick to a smaller set of wheel woolies or the easy detail brush. You can more than achieve everything you need with a good wheel brush like that. So for me, we've done the small detail brush, the wheel woolly, and then also I'll come back and I'll do the face with a little wash mitt as well, just for good measure. Now with the tyre given a good scrub with the Surfex HD and the tyre brush, it was time to give everything a thoroughly good rinse off. Now at this point you've lifted all of the dirt with the wheel cleaner and the all purpose cleaner. It's then suspended in the lava and the suds of those cleaners. So all you're doing at this point is rinsing the cleaners off and you're pulling the dirt away. Now obviously gloss black wheels you want them to look as smart as possible and sort of have a little bit of protection for the future so as always i've come back in with a spray sealant as i always do um, this one auto finesse aquacoat 
what that does is it increases gloss levels and water behavior so brake dust won't stick so easy now with that section done it was onto the roof fabric roofs a bit of an interesting talking point I suppose um, you'll see a lot of people just tackle this with the normal end of their pressure washer go at it start blasting in the dirt this and that absolutely wonderful until it dries and you get tram lines from a jet wash everywhere take it from me it looks horrific what you want to do is either take the open end of your pressure washer as you can see I've removed the end of my lance there so it gives me just an open flow an open flow with a, a hose pipe or a water bucket like just drench the roof but don't use pressure once the roof is soaked in water you then want to come back with your cleaner again surfex HD comes into play here 10 to 1 diluted in the bowl same as the wheel cleaner I was using earlier so these chemicals that we're using on a process like this go a long way you then want to allow that to sit for a little while and then you want to come back and then agitate it now in a modern good condition roof like this I had no problem agitating it with a slightly stiffer brush this one being the Vicam brush on some of the older mohair roofs things like that I might use a softer more natural fibred brush but as you can see the green and the mold is pulling out of this roof like nobody's business make sure you get in all your little channels Give everything a thorough going over. If you need to work in cross hatch motions, work whatever's best for you. Do a section and then rinse it off in the same way that you started. So low pressure, uh, open ended hose, open ended jet wash, um, anything like that and rinse away the dirt. Like I say, the dirt's now in the lava of the cleaner. Rinse it away before that lava soaks back into the fabric. Everything's suspended so we want to get it away as quick as possible and for me that is quite simply how I clean fabric roofs a smaller section at a time you don't have to do the whole roof assess the work it might need a second hit this roof was that mouldy I cleaned it three times I did the whole roof let it sit assessed it cleaned it again cleaned it again it, the fourth, fourth and final rinse is actually where I thought this is clean so don't let it get as bad as this one And there you go everyone loves a clear bucket shot proper proper moldy now with the moldy moldy roof out of the way it was onto the moldy bodywork of course we want to start thinking about lifting dirt as early as we can ultimate finish ultimate snow foam is the go to at the moment for me now if you're a weekend warrior this is wicked because it gives you thick foam and cleans if you're a professional detailer it's even better because it's like 15 13 quid a bottle you cannot go wrong five liters for sub 15 pounds no one is doing that in this game now what i did was just gave the car a thorough soak down that could be the body the arches the wheels everything 
don't tend to go mad on the roof because I've just put a cleaner on it. I'm just letting it sort of dry a little bit more, so I avoid that. But just give the car a thorough soak down in this thick, thick foam. Now, a soft natural hair detail brush was used to get into some of the tighter areas that were holding, like I said, the mould on the bodywork. This isn't something you need to do every time you snow foam your car, but you can see the green dripping down the panels. It was worth it on this occasion. Maybe once every three, four months, that's all you need to do that. With that said and done, come back in with your pressure washer and just rinse the whole body down. I like to work top to bottom so I'm rinsing the dirt off the panel and then sometimes on some absolutely filthy cars I'll work bottom to top just to tackle them lower areas first. It doesn't really matter. With that said and done, the paintwork's now looking a bit cleaner, it's onto the shampoo. Now what's interesting about this is I've now taken the pure shampoo from Ultimate Finish and then I shampooed the roof. Now I didn't snow foam it, why not? Well, because the snow foam in the roof would take a considerable amount of rinsing because of the product that goes onto it. However, I'm using this pH neutral shampoo to sort of chemically balance out the roof again. It's going to neutralise the roof and then once I've rinsed it off for a final time, it then means it will be ready for a nice dressing. Now, once the roof was done, it was onto the bodywork you know how to wash a car, I'm not going to teach you to suck eggs. Now, with the car thoroughly washed, rinsed, mould removed, we're getting there. I'm starting to feel a little bit positive about this little mini. However, it was quite evident there was some iron fallout on the panel. There was tar spots on the lower areas, but it didn't feel particularly bad. So I thought, for this one here, I'm going to go for a chemical decontamination. It's not got to be perfect, this car, but a lot cleaner was the goal. So, ultimate finish, iron fallout remover was heavily saturated all over the painted areas and within a couple of minutes it absolutely lit up let that sit let that dwell and gave it a rinse off about 10 minutes later the sun wasn't out 
I was able to let this one sit for quite a long time and let the chemical do its work. Next up on the chemical decontamination process, tar removal. Uh, Auto finesse obliterate. If you haven't tried this stuff, brilliant, love it. It's been my go-to tar remover last three or four years. Um, just saturate the lower half of the body for me. You'll notice if there's any top half that needs doing, but once the lower half saturated, you'll see the start tar start to bleed. Then take an old microfiber, just come back in and wipe the tar off. It's as simple as that. But do bear in mind, bin that towel afterwards because if you wash that in your missus washing machine, she is gonna go nuts. That being said, once you've binned it, we now and then need to start thinking about protecting this car. It was winter, day I filmed this, it was one degrees and there was no chance I was polishing a wax in this car. So, also finesse, lavish ceramic snow foam was um order of the day on this one um ceramic snow foam let's call it a hydrophobic snow foam that will protect your car for three to six months depending on whether you live in the back streets of california or england will depend on that three and six months soaked the car glass body and wheels once you soak the car down take your snow foam gun off the lance and just come back and rinse it off now if you haven't seen my dedicated video for this product I'll link it on the screen about now once you've done go and watch that the the key for this product is it doesn't need dwell time but the more you rinse it the better it becomes so rinse it thoroughly and rinse it well and and you'll be protected like I say for months ahead absolutely delicious isn't it like i say a very good product very easy to apply it perfect for winter those spray on rinse off products i love them in the winter that said and done the car was then dried down with the kamikaze drying towel absolutely love that and then any tighter areas were blown off with the master blaster sidekick bit of a trusted warrior of mine now um wheels tires crevices panel gaps body badges you need yourself a little blower to get that bit of trapped water out of those areas once the car was dry and I'd given the roof an hour or two to dry the Sun had come out of this point it evaporated very quickly I then sprayed a bit of fabric guard on the roof and let that sit once that was done it was back onto sort of the main sort of normal detailing parts um, Auto finesse, crystal glass cleaner. I'm not going to teach you about this one because I've talked about it in videos and videos and videos. If you have not tried it, go and get yourself a bottle. Need I say any more? I think not. Now, glass for me always gets clean first so then I don't have 
silicones, rubbers, oil, dressings, things all over my hands. So once the glass was done, I come back. I address the front wheel arches with auto finesse dressel. Just sort of your go-to spray on, walk away sort of dressing. Absolutely love it. Um, use it on pretty much every car I do. And then for the tyres, Stiana Gloss Gummy. Been using this for a couple of months now. Really quite like it. As you can see, straight from the tyre with a microfiber applicator onto the trim panels on this Mini. I have to say, it did a lovely, lovely, lovely job of restoring these back to black. We all know these fade like hell, but as you can see, it really gave it a deeper, darker, cleaner look. Now, those are the little touches that all add up to a good detail. What I liked about this on the trim was... It wasn't oily, it didn't look messy, it soaked in nicely and just gave a dark matte finish, which is what I was after. And with that, we're done. This Mini is now no longer mouldy. Um, one happy mother-in-law and hopefully you've enjoyed this. Taken something away, whether that's how to clean your wheels, fabric hoods, whatever it is. Want to go and get yourself a product. Check out the links in the description below. Um, while you're down there, subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell. Give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you've enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.